Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Matt, Client Success Manager for White House Custom Color, and we are here with Flo McCall um, this morning in beautiful Jackson Hole, Wyoming. So you'll notice that uh, we have changed venue this morning um, for our recording. We are out on actually one of your locations that you like to yes. photograph in. So one thing that we have not talked about yet is your story. My and how, story. Your story and how you came to be in Jackson because I know you started on the opposite side of the country. So let's talk about that journey a little bit. Um, okay, well, let's see. Born in Philadelphia and I went to college at University of Colorado and I love the mountains and being outside and skiing and doing everything outside. And when I graduated, my um, photography pr professor said I was great at doing portrait work. So I was like, well, I have to work, so yep. why not give it a try? <laughs> Unfortunately, we all have to work. <laughs> yes. So I went um, to San Francisco after I graduated and worked for a business journal, and I photographed businessmen. And I had to learn how to work really quick and make great work um, every week. I was published every week on the front of the newspaper. So it was um, learning on the job as fast as I could, and I loved it. I learned a ton in San Francisco. But then I had the call to go um, to come to the mountains. And um, so then when I um, met someone, he said, come on a big trip with me down the Grand Canyon. And the next thing I know, I finished my trip in um, Driggs, Idaho. And then I started my business when I was 30 and Florence McCall Photography. So just like three years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just three years ago. <laughs> And I started my first studio that was in my house. And the next thing I know, um, here I am 28 years later with um, this awesome studio in Jackson Hole. And um, yeah, it's been um, one challenging road, but um, here I am and I'm psyched. Yeah, exactly. And in, in what a wonderful place to have a business. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So many of you watching along with us and, and listening to Flo's story and listening to how she's accomplished so much in 27 years, is that correct? Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, I think it's also important to realize the, the magnitude of the space that you're in and the, the things that you have available to you here. I mean, we've talked to countless photographers and they're like, well, I can't do that in my area because of this. I can't do that in my area because of this. Now, what are the, the, the things that you've had to overcome in Jackson? Because I think somebody looking you know, at Jackson Hole says, okay, well, that's a very affluent community. It's a vacation community. There's, you know, what, what are the things on the flip side of that that you've had to work through personally with the business to get to where you're at? I feel like I've had to work through so many challenges. Um, first off, understanding the light is so hard here because there's no trees, there's no porches, there's no diffusion, there's no smog to make it softer and beautiful on people's faces. So when I go on photo shoots, I realize I have to take three assistants. And just to bring three assistants is a huge challenge. Yeah. You have to find people in their 20s that don't have much to do and they want to come help. <laughs> And I'm constantly <laughs> juggling on a day of a photo shoot. I'm texting and saying, okay, can you come? Can you come? Can you come? And because you have to take all this intense light away from people. And then you got to add a little bit of light if you want to see the environment for the style that I like. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a big thing to overcome. And then to understand how to work in a really rugged environment. Like right. people, they show up in high heels and, and don't want the wind to blow. And we've got mosquitoes. I mean, when you're outside, you have all those challenges yep. in a lot of places. So that was another thing. And then really learning. Um, I really came when there was not many people here. So I had to really teach myself everything. And it took, I mean, I don't know. Some people learn it overnight. It took me years and years and years to understand how to work in my environment and how to work with the kind of people here. Mm -hmm. and. People liked kind of a basic picture. They didn't like things that were overdone or too much or too stylized or people just are very casual here. Right. So um, I just had to learn to work with the type of people. Um, let's see, what are the other things well, I've I, learned? I'm just going to bring up a topic that you and I have talked about several times where, you know, during both of the design processes, I can remember you saying, you know, I look around and I have, you know, family in front of the Teton. I have family in front of the Tetons. I have, you know, and, and you were like seeing that as a potential negative where I look at it. And I think if you look at Flo's website, you will look at her images and be like, wow. I mean, the, the lighting is 
on point. The posing is fantastic. Um, the way that you're getting the detail in the mountains and all of the, the landscape, which if you're coming here, that's what you want. Definitely. But, but I can see where your thought process goes that, that that's potentially a struggle, but that's your brand. Right. Yeah. Right. And, um, and just to go back and, and hit on a point that you said a few minutes ago, like we were supposed to do a session last night, last minute had to change, so you had to rearrange all those assistants right. for tonight. Yeah, exactly. So when you first arrived, how did you find these spots to photograph and how did you get permission <laughs> to photograph on them? Or how many times have you been chased off? <laughs> um, okay, so I've been photographing here for 28 years and I have photographed in every place in this valley, like every place. I have snuck onto private land. I've um, really, I poach everything. I wanted it close <laughs> in my, to my house because the best view you have to drive 30 minutes for. And I would get lazy. I was like, I don't want to go up there every single day mm -hmm. and do that. So it basically took a lot of trial and error and a lot of, I got in a lot of trouble by landowners. They would catch me in the middle of photo shoots, you know, threaten me, want to sue me. Um, and so a lot of times I would have to ask people, call them up and say, can I use it? And they'd say no. So over time, um, I just kept going to places and figuring out where the light was best and where it was easy for people to get out of their car and go right to a pretty place. So right. it took 28 years to find three good solid locations. Um, but then they become repetitive and boring for me, but I really try and look past it as much as I can because for the visitors and for the people who don't aren't familiar with this, it's stunning. Absolutely. I just have to, and what I find is that if I just perfect my light, then everyone's happy. Yeah. So I look at it as a lighting thing for me and making sure the posing's great and that it's a fluid, easy photo shoot. And then for everyone else, they're just happy to see the mountains yeah. is really what it is. So one more question before we, we let you go here. As far as your client base, are the majority of your clients coming in from out of town, vacationers, people who have found you online, or is it people who are native to Jackson or, or live in Jackson that are repeat clients of yours? Um, both. Okay. Um, people Google me, and then I would say my best clients are referrals. Okay. And they're the people that have two or three homes and they come here for a month, a couple weeks um, with their family. And then there are Jackson natives, definitely, um, that I've known for 20 years. I just had someone call me up and I was so surprised to hear that they wanted to hire me and um, I'd known them for about 25 years. So um, it's just, um, but I, it's all about the season when it's pretty here. It starts in end of June until December and yeah. then the rest of the time it's quiet. But so it's really when people are coming to visit with their families. Yeah. Overall, wonderful success over 27 years. Beautiful landscape, um, wonderful studio, great photographer. So when you're looking at you know a business like Flows, and for everybody that's listening to this today, um, it's important to know that this is not something that just came in two months or six months or one year or five years. It's a 27 year build to create lighting, posing, locations, business, sales, all the things. So when you're thinking of your business and how to build your business, it's not just one magic thing or two magic things. It's a whole basket of things that you really need to look at. So thank you for sharing My pleasure. your experiences and your, your story with us this morning. We're actually going to um, do a couple more interviews with you today and dig a little bit deeper. So we're excited Sounds for good. those. Um, but thanks for joining us and we'll be back with you in just a little bit.